Investigators say Dylan Quick unleashed a rapid and frightening attack on 14 people as he walked through a hallway of the Lone Star College campus in Cypress, Texas. Cassie Foe says it was surreal to watch the horrific scene unfold. She was in a classroom when she heard students screaming. How in the world does someone stab Basically, 14 people? Basically, he uses his, his backpack as a shield and he gets close to the person, kind of bumps into him and stabs him at the same time. So, so it be that quick. So it was that quick, just and then out oh, wow. and down the other way. So Everyone this guy's just, walking and he's just leaving this trail of pain behind him, right? Basically, he's just stabbing anyone in his way. It, there was no pattern, there was no method. It, it was completely random. 14 people were wounded in the surprising assault. Four had to be airlifted to hospitals. For many, it was all over before they could figure out what had happened. The wounds were gruesome. A piece of a blade broke off in one victim's cheek. Others were stabbed in the throat and face. As students ran from the chaos, a group of three students went after the attacker. One of them was Stephen Maida. And the next thing was, there's a guy stabbing girls in the face. I was like, all right, I got to go in there. I got to go help. Got to see what I can do. Maida says he and two other students started chasing Dylan Quick through the buildings and finally caught up with him outside by a parking lot. I just jumped back on him, and I didn't want to take a chance, so I put him on his stomach and put his hands behind his back, and that's when the first cop came and put the cuffs on him and started searching him. And when you guys get on top of him, what did, what did he say? Oh, he just, he just like, I give up right away. I give up. And I was just on top of him. It's like, why did you do this? What made you want to stab these girls? Maida says he didn't get an answer, but investigators say Dylan Quick said he's had fantasies of stabbing people since he was in elementary school and had planned this attack for some time. Investigators also say Dylan Quick used a razor-type knife and has been charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon.